Hi everyone, it's Asuka here. In this video, I will show you how to lengthen your nails using half tip, which are specially designed for French manicure. This white half tip is not something you see very often, but is actually a quite good item. By simply attaching this tip, you can easily create a French manicure. You don't have to use a brush to draw French lines, so it's easy even with your non-dominant hand. I'm also introducing a method to make it stronger, so please watch until the end. Okay, let's get started! First, here are the nail tips we'll be using this time. These are called half tips and are attached to the tip of the nail to make it longer. They are sold online at places like Amazon. And these tips are white, specially designed for French manicure. So you don't need to draw the French lines with a brush, and you can just stick these tips on. You can enjoy a professional-looking French manicure with very little effort. And there is one more thing that makes these tips so great. The part that adheres to the nail on the underside has a step. This step makes it less likely that when you attach the tip like this, there will be a step between the surface of your nail and your natural nail. So this step gives a natural finish. However, this half tip also has one weak point. Compared to these full tips which are shaped the same as the nails, the adhesion area is smaller, so there are some weak points. However, by being creative with the way you finish the tip after applying it, you can make it stronger, so please give it a try! Okay, let's get started and stick on the tips. First, lightly scratch the surface of the nail with a file. It's okay to file the nail just enough to make the surface slightly cloudy. Next, trim the white part of your natural nail that is growing out. Since there is a step in this half tip, the depth of the white part of the French manicure will change depending on how short you trim your natural nail. This is a matter of preference, so please take into consideration the size of your nails when filing them. I trimmed my nails to this length. If you try applying the tip at this length, the French line will look something like this. So please use this as a reference. After filing your natural nails, wipe off any oil or sebum on the nail surface by soaking a kitchen paper in ethanol. Whether or not you remove this oil will affect how long your nails last, so be sure to wipe them off. Now, let's move on to choosing a tip that matches your nails. The first and most important thing to remember is to choose a tip that matches the width of your nails. This tip is too wide, this one is too narrow, and this one looks about right. When choosing a tip, even if it is only slightly small, it can cause it to break easily. So it is recommended to choose a tip that is slightly larger than you think it should be. If you choose a tip that is a little big, Use a file to gradually shave down the size of the tip to match the width of your nails. If the tip doesn't match the curve of your nail, push the tip to make it tighter or spread it out to loosen it. You have now completed a tip that matches the width and curve of your own nails. Now, let's move on to a little advanced technique. This white French tip already has this line, but what if you want to make this line a little deeper? In this case, you can use a file to gradually shave off just this part at an angle. This will make the white French line deeper than before. Be careful not to shave off the step part. Here's what it looks like after filing. You can see that the fringe tip is deeper now. Next, 
will attach this fringe tip to the nail. After putting a single drop of nail glue in the middle of the step on the tip, spread the nail glue on both sides of the tip. Next, while aligning the tip with the center of the nail, gradually remove the air from the tip of the nail towards the base of the nail. Leave it like this for 20 to 30 seconds. Then slowly remove your hand and check that it has stuck. Now, attach both sides of the tip. When it adheres well, it looks like this. Even when viewed from the side, it has a natural finish. Next, use nail nippers or nail clippers to cut off any excess length. If you are using nail clippers, push up on the cover to expose the blade. Instead of cutting everything off at once, make incision from both sides and cut it off little by little. If you try to cut it all off at once, it will crack in unexpected directions and ruin the tip you've just stuck on. So even if it is a bit of hassle, cut it off little by little. Next. Use a file to shape the area where the nail tip has been attached. Shape it into the shape you like, such as oval, round, or square. I'm going to make a square shape called the coffin with a slightly tapered tip. Now, you should lightly sand the surface of the tip. I'll explain why later. Now, soak some kitchen paper in ethanol and wipe off any shavings. Don't forget to wipe the underside of your nails too. The reason I filed the tip earlier is because I'm going to apply hard gel to it now. The reason I apply hard gel is to cover up the weakness of half tip, which is the narrowness of bonding surface. By covering it with gel, the entire nail will support the tip, making it stronger. And filing the tip makes it adhere better. Once you have applied the hard gel to the entire nail, cure. Finally, apply a no wipe top coat to finish it off. This is the final touch. So be very careful not to get any dust in it. Once you've finished applying the gel to the entire nail, cure. This completes the process. When you use this French tip to add length, the entire tip of your nail becomes white. So unlike drawing a French line only the surface with gel, the finished result is beautiful even when viewed from the back side. How did you like the lengthening using French tips? Using these tips, you can get the lengthening and French manicure done at the same time. You can get beautiful French that look like you've lengthened in them with acrylic, so please give it a try! Thank you for watching! If this video was helpful to you, please hit the like button. And if you like to see more videos like this, Please subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Bye.